Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the NBA. So y'all check this out. <clears throat> now, I've been telling you guys for about a year that for the Milwaukee Bucks, the, the key player is probably Brooke Lopez. And I've been saying that for a while. <clears throat> and I think that I also said that, you know, they play a little bit wrong. You know what I'm saying? Because I think they should go to Brooke Lopez on the low block more often because what that'll do is it'll open up the floor for everybody because Brooke Lopez is an excellent scorer on the low block. In the first seven, eight years of his career, he was only on the low block. Probably only took one three-pointer. Now, because he is so talented and understanding that the NBA just changes, he's shooting a, a, shooting a three at a high clip and he's Splash Mountain. We understand that. But the fact that he was able to change his game like that is awesome. But just because everybody's shooting three points, you know, we got an average of about 33 point shots taking the game, which is ridiculous. And it's a hard watch for me because I've watched it decades before. <clears throat> and I just think it's just silly because especially because you can't even defend three point shots. And you know, people getting three free throws if you barely touch them and stuff like that. That's why we have these games in regulation at 140 points. It's ridiculous to me. I just think it's, it's not a good game to me. I have no problem with games being 85 to 80, final score. <clears throat> 140 points for me was an all-star game, but whatever. Brooke Lopez was able to adjust and he's awesome. Now, seeing as though he can do those things, Look at what he's doing on the defensive end of, of the floor, averaging 2.5 blocks. He's only behind Claxton in blocks. He's even first in contested shots in the whole NBA, right? Second in blocks, and uh, he's first in the defensive player of the year voting. <clears throat> so what I'm saying is that's pretty awesome. That's a nice car just passed by right there. That's a damn nice car just passed by right there. But anyway, <clears throat> yeah, he's first in defensive uh, the defensive player of the year. So what you're looking at is a very, very important player for the Milwaukee Bucks. I think that the Milwaukee Bucks, like I said, when it comes to playoff times, they have to go to him on a low block. <clears throat> and if you don't want to do it when Giannis is in the game, uh, because Brooke Lopez is doing his job and stretching the floor for Giannis, then, you know, you straddle him. And when Giannis is out, you go to him, just like you do <clears throat> for Portis. When Portis is in the game, he's not just shooting threes. They're they going to Portis on the low block. Brooke Lopez is even better than Portis on the low block. They both make their free throws, but Brooke Lopez makes his free throws as well. So I think he's one of the key players of the team. Obviously, Giannis is the man, but I'm saying Brooke Lopez is a very, very uh, a key I would say the, probably the most important player because of the simple fact you can do all these things with him and he's going to knock his free throws down, right? <clears throat> now, as defensively, Milwaukee Bucks for a second, you know, you have three people who identity as defense with Drew Holiday, his one of the best perimeter defenses in the whole league, defenders in the whole league. Giannis Antetokounmpo is a defensive player of the year candidate, and now so is Brooke Lopez. So you have people who identify. Uh, Carter coming from the bench is also a defensive stalwart. So, you know, they're going to be looking good going forward, <clears throat> but I just think they have to change that strategy when it comes to Brooke Lopez because which, when you go down low on the low block and let him go to work, then you're going to have a lot of spacing because they're going to have to double him. Brooke Lopez also knows how to get these fouls and with the swing through and stuff, what I don't like in the NBA, but he knows how to do that as well, how to create contact and all those things. Brooke Lopez and the Milwaukee Bucks, Bucks are an issue, period. So let's check that out. And I'm glad, much props to Brooke Lopez for being number one right now in the Defensive Player of the Year, being in the conversation. I think it's awesome. Like I said, he's the key for Milwaukee Bucks going forward. Doma Sports Talk Worldwide. And I'm out of here, y'all.